hello my dear friends welcome back welcome back to top lesson for you dear friends as you know that we discussed about the structure of the human eye in a big detail i hope you have watched those lectures now as i told you that we will discuss about the human skeleton and the bones we we are starting a new series of lectures which will take a lot of time to discuss the bones of the human body and i will try my best to cover each markings of all the bones of the body we will uh, start from the upper part or from the cranial part and we will move towards the foots and we will discuss each bone in detail inshallah and we will have lots of lectures on that so now we are discussing uh, we are starting lectures on the human skeleton so first of all we should know that what is skeleton uh, and uh, we, then we will divide the human skeleton into its uh, different uh, uh, different shapes and everything of the bone we will discuss then we will uh, discuss each and every bone and all those markings all those important points which are present on every bone I will try my best to cover it so uh, let's uh, begin our lecture we do not waste our time so first of all let us define the skeletal system first we should have a clear concept of the skeletal system my dear friends, uh, let us take the help of our friend and we will discuss it. Uh, we, will, we will define the skeletal system. Look carefully. In our skeletal system, we have three important things. And what are those? First, the bones. Then inside some joints, as you can see here, we have cartilages. Right? These are cartilages. And they are also associated with the skeletal system. And then we have certain ligaments, right? Certain ligaments which bind the bones with each other. So we have three important things while we discuss the human skeleton. The first, the bones. The second, the associated cartilages. I'm not talking about every cartilage which is related to skeletal system because in our ear pena, right? Air auricles we have cartilages but this cartilage is not the part of the skeletal system in our nose we have cartilage but this cartilage is not the part of the uh, skeletal system but only those cartilages which are present in your cartilaginous joints I'm talking about those cartilages so look what is human skeletal system the system which comprises of the bones associated cartilages and the ligaments those are called the that system of the body is called the skeletal system so let me make here a very simplified diagram for example this is one bone and here is another bone right so first of all what are these these are the bones right this is bone and the upper one is also bone then we have if if we have a cartilage disc here right so what is this this is cartilage right and there are certain uh, dense regular connective tissue which uh, is uh, there to hold these bones together which will not let the bones to be apart to be separate from each other so such type of uh, uh, tissues are called the ligaments so these are our ligaments and ligaments are responsible to hold the bones together right and cartilages are present in certain cartilaginous joints not in all joints of the body so our skeletal system comprises of these three important factors these three important tissues i will say and those are the bones the cartilage and the ligaments so we write here the skeletal system we define it a system a system of bones right associated cartilages right and ligaments that system in our body is called the uh, skeletal system or we say what is skeletal system a system a framework of bones around which our body is built every part of our body is supported and hold 
by this skeletal system. So we say this, so I, if I'm standing erect, right, I'm standing in front of you and I'm acting and I'm writing and doing everything. So this, all this is because of the, your skeletal system. If you take off all the bones from the body, then what will be left? There will be mesh, there will be meat, nothing else, right? So we say that the skeletal system is a framework of bones around which the body is built. A framework of bones around which the body is built. So this is called your skeletal system and I try my best to, to discuss and uh, to, to record the full anatomy of these everything. So friends be with us and keep watching our lectures to have a clear concept of the anatomy of the bones and every markings and the, the, the anatomy of the every marking of the bones. So next we should know certain functions of the skeletal system, right? We should know some functions related to the skeletal system. So first function which it performs is that it gives us a special shape, right? Look here, my hand is like this, why? Because here is a bone present, here are two bones present and in, the, in, in my hand I have about 28 bones, right? So all these are because of the bones. So bones are responsible to give us shape. If my face is having a special shape, it is all because of certain bones which I have in my shape. If my head is like this, why? Because the bones are arranged in that manner. So that's why we say that the bones are responsible or the skeletal system is responsible to give shapes to the body, right? So it provides shape, the first function. The next important function of this skeletal system is that it provides protection. How? In the skull, inside the cranial cavity, we have the most delicate part of our body that is the brain, right? That is the nervous tissue. So the nervous tissue is well protected by this skeleton. Here we have in the thoracic cavity, we have our heart, we have our liver, we have stomach, we have spleen and pancreas, everything is well protected by this rib cage and you know this rib cage is made up of what this is made up of bones and cartilages so we say that the skeletal system as well as performs the functions of protection it gives us protection and it pro protects our vital organs we will say the vital organs right the next important function of this skeletal system is that i'm doing in front of you the movements right and the locomotion Right, look carefully, if I'm standing here and I'm doing uh, this kind of uh, action, so these are called movement. But if I change my place, this is called locomotion. So skeletal system helps in movement. And skeletal system also helps in locomotion. There is difference between locomotion and movement. Movement is whatever you are sitting and you are doing certain things so these are called moments but when you change your place when you go from here up to there this is called locomotion so skeletal system is responsible for locomotion then another thing the skeletal system performs another important function that is support right it provides us support how it gives support to our skeletal muscles it gives support to certain uh, tendons right so we say the our muscles our skeletal muscles are totally built around the skeleton so if you take off the skeleton right then there will be no support to your what to your skeletal muscles so skeletal uh, system provides support uh, to what to different body parts we will just say different body parts next important function of the skeletal system uh, the sixth one is that uh, the skeletal system is responsible to uh, to do what to do hematopoiesis hematopoiesis and it means that the skeletal system is responsible to synthesize blood 
let me write it here it synthesizes blood this is the function of your skeletal system why because in your bones inside your certain bones you have bone marrow right and that bone marrow is responsible to 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 synthesize to 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 produce your blood so that's why we say skeletal system is responsible to to synthesize blood right friends then the next important function of your skeletal system is that its endocrine function and what is the endocrine uh, regulation i will say endocrine regulation how look carefully i will give an example how the skeletal system is responsible to perform endocrine regulation look carefully and for example here you have your bone here is one of your bones right and this is your circulatory system now look carefully my friends if in your circulatory system the calcium level right the calcium level falls down right what will happen your uh, parathyroid gland will note this fall in the calcium and what will they release they will release certain hormones that hormone will go to your bones and they will draw the calcium out of the bone and they will increase the calcium level now listen carefully look carefully this what is released into the blood hormone right when the calcium level rises up what happens again what happens again again another hormone is released and that hormone will go towards the bone and and will say that please stop releasing further calcium to the blood as the blood calcium level is high right so all these functions are performed by hormones so if the calcium level falls inside your blood as you know that calcium is stored lot much in your bones right calcium are present a lot in the bones so what happens look carefully when the calcium level falls in your in your blood what happens hormone is released and that hormone will go towards your skeletal system and they will draw out the calcium and increase the calcium level so in 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 a, another case we say that this bone is responsible to bring out hormonal regulation or endocrine regulation right friends the next function of this important system is that the calcium homeostasis calcium homeostasis as i told you there look carefully here we we say that in inside your blood you have you should have normal calcium level right now look carefully when the calcium level inside the blood falls down who releases calcium bone and bone is a part of your skeletal system so bone releases calcium when the calcium level again increases calcium goes towards your bone and here they are stored so we say that inside your blood the calcium level is kept normal by your skeletal system yes so skeletal system is responsible for calcium homeostasis and skeletal system is performing the function of storage how it is the major storehouse for two important th things calcium and phosphorus calcium and phosphorus are majorly stored in your body in the bones as hydroxyapatite and we will discuss this in the next lecture hydroxyapatite what is hydroxyapatite we will discuss while we discuss about the structure of the bone i will show you next is the the the, the next function of the skeletal system is that uh, bone remodeling bone remodeling what does it mean it means that whenever there is any fracture right whenever there is any fracture who is responsible to recover that fracture look carefully for example this is a bone right and it has came to be broken right this bone is broken here what happens these bone cells which are present here 
they will start migrate uh, they will start mitosis and migrating towards this cavity and they will full uh, this cavity again and they will remodel the bone so the bone is remodeled so who did this remodeling the bone tissue did this remodeling so bone or skeletal system is responsible for bone remodeling this is the important function now the next function of the skeletal system is that they make joints they make joints and if there are no joints we will not move we, we, we will not be able to move look these are the joints and who has made these joints the bones the, 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 the skeletal system has made these joints in our body we have certain different joints in our body you know well and the functions of those joints are very important for us so skeletal system is responsible to make joints the next function of the skeletal system is that it provides support to muscles right let me write it here the 12th one support and attachment to muscles so your skeletal system plays very important role here also they provide support to your muscle they provide attachment to your muscle and the next important function of this skeletal uh, of this skeletal system is that they store triglycerides certain fats triglycerides so skeletal system performs the function of the storage of the triglycerides you know that inside your bone marrow you have lots of fats there so those fats are stored as triglycerides so inside your bone marrow you have triglycerides there right and the next important function of your skeletal system is that it is responsible for timber of your voice timber of voice how in, in your uh, facial bones you have certain empty spaces those are called the uh, sinuses and those sinuses are responsible to give resonance and timber to your voice right so we say skeletal system also helps in timber of the voice and other than this the, the next important functions if you say that they help in running right they help in sitting they help skeletal system help in holding objects holding objects these are the certain important functions if if you want to hold this marker if you don't have any bones in your hand you will not be able to hold this marker right so these are the functions of your skeletal system now what is skeletal system we said that a system of bones associated cartilages and ligaments so this system is called skeletal system and these are certain functions of the skeletal system which it performs in the next lecture we will go towards the classification of your skeletal system and then we will record about the classification of bones so see you there and uh, till then I love this.